Hi everyone, this is Dennis. And this is my dad. And for today's project, we're going to be installing a wireless charger in my truck. I have a 2001 uh, Silverado Trail Boss with a center console that does not have a wireless charger, even though it's a perfect place for one. So today we're going to be installing it. Go ahead, Dennis. This one we got off of Amazon. And it replaces the little tray in the center console with a wireless charger. It comes with uh, all the accessories and all the things you might need. We have a uh, comes with a cable here, several wiring harnesses. We got one here, and also a little tool for taking apart uh, paneling. There's also a QR code to a video on YouTube with instructions on how to install this from the manufacturer. If you're interested in installing a wireless charger in your truck, hopefully this video will have some information on what you might need to do. All right, Dennis, are you ready to get started? Let's do it. So let's get started with the easy part, which is the top cover itself or the lid to the center console. We need to remove the bottom of the lid, which is attached with several screws that I'm pointing out here. There are also two screws under this cover here. This cover is a bit of a hassle to take off and requires a considerable amount of prying to remove. One thing I would like to point out here is that my truck is equipped with a center seat underneath the console. This requires purchasing a different charger kit as the part you're replacing is different from the five-seater trucks. Dennis did a fine job removing these screws and the bottom of the lid comes right off. Now we have four screws that are holding the tray in place and those need to be removed as well. All the screws we're removing in this installation are Torx head screws and are actually smaller than usual. Um, I actually had to use my mini set of Torx head bits for this install. Definitely could not have done it without the help. There's an existing hole that the cable runs through. Uh, no extra holes need to be drilled. Just feed the cable through and pop the charger in. Now we have to do everything in reverse. So putting all the screws back in, four screws here for this piece. Just gotta be careful not to over tighten them since I'm using a drill driver. Pretty straightforward here, I believe. Just gotta be careful when uh, putting this back on, not to pinch the wire that comes out the bottom. Just gotta route it into little open spaces that are available. Nice and easy, making sure not to strip the screws. There we go. Just gonna get an idea of how I'm gonna run these wires. Spoiler alert, they should not have put this on. These guys are amateurs. It's like they're doing this for the first time. Hm. Ta-da! Ta-da indeed. So far, so good. Now, the manufacturer recommends running the power cable under the carpet and into the console under the radio. But I think we have a better idea. I believe we can make it work with the 12 volt power adapter under the center console. No screws to remove here, just gotta pop all of these plastic pieces off. Starting with the sides here, we just peel them off to the side. And this is where I'm very grateful for this handy little tool. Now the top piece of trim needs to be lifted up just enough to where the rear facing piece can be removed. This whole process is easier said than done, but the whole piece just pops off towards the back. So after a little bit of work, there it goes. Here we can see the wire that goes to the 12 volt outlet, which is where we're gonna be making our connection. 
it's a bit tricky to take off so looking at the harness that came with the kit we can get an idea of how that needs to pop out and after a little bit of work and a little bit of wiggling it does the wire harness comes with an inline fuse which is nice we don't want this phone charger to turn into a seat warmer The connectors are one way and are impossible to get wrong. After making the connections, I stuff all the wiring in the back and here I attempt to figure out how to route this power cable up into the console. Gotta make sure the wires don't get pinched when the seat comes up and also when the lid comes up. Since the wire and the connector from the charger doesn't make it all the way to the bottom, I decide to run the longer cable from the harness up into the lid and make the connection there. After tucking the wire neatly out of the way where it won't get pinched, it is time to snap everything back into place. First the front piece needs to go in, then the top and then the sides. Checking to make sure everything moves like it should and the wire doesn't get pinched anywhere. This is where I realize my mistake and have to pop this cover back off. A little bit of trial and error and I find a good spot to tuck this connector away. Ah, beautiful. Well, is it time to test it out? works like a charm. Alright, your turn Dennis. Look at that. It even charges other phones. We've got a nice pulsing blue light that tells you when your phone is being charged. That honestly might be a bit too bright when it's dark. We'll just have to see. Well, that's pretty cool. It was a pretty easy install, wasn't it? Yeah. Well, we hope you like this video. Maybe it'll help you with your install. Um, if you're interested in the one that we put in, in the actual device that we put in, a link to that will be in the description. Amazon has many of these products. Most of them install all the same way. So this install video should be pretty universal. Well, thanks for watching, guys. Um, follow us for more. Uh, projects that we do together, right Dennis? Yeah. See you next time.